Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do, well, I'm gonna start a new series. It's called Throwback Thursday. I didn't invent it. I think it's by Nicole Renee on YouTube. Is that her name, Nicole Renee? Yeah, Nicole Renee. Um, I'll link her videos down below. Well, I'll link her channel down below. Um, so basically the idea is I'm going to use eyeshadow palettes that used to be really hyped up and now no one talks about them and I kind of just want to revisit them, um, see what kind of looks I can come up with and let you know if they're good or not. Uh, I'll try to use ones that are obviously still available and ones that I think like a lot of people already own so in case you're inspired to reuse your old well your older palettes as well yeah so just keep watching if you want to see me use an old palette <laughs> so the palette i'm using is actually the first high-end palette i ever bought and this was like what, three years ago now i believe it is the Too faced chocolate bar palette so this is the like newer one i think the old versions didn't have the names of the shadows but this one does as you can see it still looks brand new because i don't well i wasn't wearing a lot of makeup before i started my youtube channel i was mostly collecting it <laughs> and looking at it but yeah this is another reason why i want to do this series so that i can actually use the makeup that I have so yeah this is a more like neutral palette obviously there's a few pops of color so how can I show this without blinding you so there's like some purples over here there's this really dark well it looks black but it's actually very dark brown there's like a plum shade some a pink shade that's in like every Too Faced palette and then over here we have some more like smokier shades but the reason I really like this palette is because for me this is a complete palette I have my matte um, brow bone and base shade I have an inner corner highlight I have my transition shades over here I can deepen up the crease with the darker shades and there's shimmers for the lid so that's usually my go-to look so this palette helps me achieve that um, and I don't have to dip into something else when I use this palette but I think for this video I want to try doing something a bit different I might go something more colorful maybe like a plum look I don't have an idea yet but we'll see how it goes so yeah i actually i have powder under my eyes um i already have my base and my brows on so um yeah i'll leave what i use down below in case you're interested but um we'll get started with the eye look i didn't put any primer on either i just put some concealer yeah i didn't even put powder or anything and it's like it's a bit tacky still but that's fine some people use concealer as um, primer anyway so what I will do you guys might already guess what's next if you watch my other videos is I'm using my Royal and Langnickel BOM 40 and I'm going to go in with this shade here white chocolate so I zoomed you in so you can actually see what I'm doing sorry about this shadow here it's actually my tripod so <laughs> I can't do anything about that but yeah I've been like so used to Anastasia shadows now because I keep using them in my videos that I'm like going in with this and there's no kick up and I'm like what's happening but it's actually because it's just that's the Anastasia formula it's very powdery Whereas this one hardly has any um, powder, if you can see that. Yep. Yeah. 
yeah this is not like a super bright shade it's more like it really just blends into my skin tone it looks really bright on camera but it's more like a a cream shade so for my transition shade I'm going in with the BMX crease brush BMX 430 and I'm gonna use hazelnut this shade here Yeah, so far these are definitely not as pigmented as some of my other shadows, but they do blend nicely. It's not like sticking down anywhere or anything. So to deepen up the crease, I'm going to use my, my Luxie 237 blending brush, and I'm going to go in with I'm going to start with milk chocolate, but it might be still too light, this shade here. Oh no, that's pretty good for a crease shade. It's darker than I thought it was going to be. That's looking good so far. So what do I want to do? That's the question. I'm trying not to do like a bronzy look because I always do that. And that is what I would probably do with this palette, like with all, with these shades here. But I want to do something different. I think I want to do like a more purpley look. Yeah, I'm gonna put the shade here. It's called Cherry Cordial all over the lid. As you can see, it's kind of like a matte shadow, but with some shimmer in it. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna use this Tarte brush here. Okay. Not much pigment is coming off. I have to pack it on quite a lot. Well, we're gonna put something over this so it doesn't have to be amazing, but I was hoping it would have more. Yeah, that didn't do much and it's kind of patchy. I think I'm gonna put the shade Amaretto over this It's a more like um, shimmery shade but I think I have to use Fix Plus because this is not giving the color payoff that I am expecting. I'm gonna go in with the same Tarte brush because there's like nothing left on this anyway since that shade was really powdery. Okay, that's way better already. Yeah, I don't really understand those like matte shadows with shimmer in them like what are you supposed to do with it because it doesn't they don't normally blend out well on the eyelid so are you supposed to deepen I don't know I guess for the outer corner because I wouldn't really put like a matte shade with glitter in my crease yeah I don't know if you guys are into those kinds of shades, let me know how you use them, because I don't really know. Yeah, this shade is much easier to work with. It might be that I used Fix Plus, but I still find it's a lot more pigmented and blendable than the last shadow so if you can see yeah that's way better so I'm just going to go in with a clean brush to blend those edges 
Hopefully not blend all the shadow away. Well, I guess this brush wasn't that clean because it looks like it's putting color on. Mm. Okay, I did want to use that purple. It's called Candied Violet, but it doesn't look that good in a swatch. It was very dry and I do have a lot of fallout. So good thing I have powder on. I think I, what I want to do, I really like the lid shade. So I think to make it a little more interesting, I want to put some of this champagne truffle. Um, wow, can you focus? I want to put that um, on my inner corner and on the very center, on the very center of my eyelid and see what that does. So I'm going to use my finger. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. That covered everything. <laughs> okay. <gasps> that is pigmented. I think I just did an accidental halo eye. I didn't think that was going to cover the shadow underneath. So I kind of just toned that down a bit by bringing the darker shadow more in so that it's only light on the very center if you can see that. And I'm going to go back in with the shade um, Hazelnut, the transition shade that I used. So I'll go back in with the milk chocolate shade, this one here. I find for my eye shape, I always have to bring my shadow out to like a point or else it looks really strange. Like it, it just cuts off abruptly. So yeah, that's why I do that. Yeah, I did kind of blend the shimmer away, actually. But that's how it's looking. Well, we'll leave it like that for now. And I will dust the powder off from my under eye and the fallout, hopefully. So for the lower lash line, well, I'm going to start with um, salted caramel again. I'm just connecting that with the lid shades. And then, um, I'm gonna take some milk chocolate. The darker. Well, it's not necessarily darker. It's just... The hazelnut is more like a caramel shade <laughs> and milk chocolate is more like a cooler brown shadow. So the darker shade I just put on the outer corner. I don't bring it in so much. Okay. I kind of just had the urge to put strawberry bonbon, this pink shade from the middle to the inner corner. So I'll switch to my scratchy <laughs> MAC brush shape here. There's still some yellow on it from my last look. Get that off. So I have to be careful because this could look chalky. I mean, I'm kind of blending it with the with hazelnut so it's not going on like 
you know, pastel pink. But just giving some brightness. That didn't really do much. And it didn't really come out as pink as it looks in the pan. But that's okay. And for my inner corner, I'm going back with champagne truffle. Yeah, see how that shade is crazy. That is very pigmented for a, you know, a shimmery, a light shimmery shade like that. And I'm going to take anything left on the brush and just go right on the brow bone here. I think I need to put a touch more on this eye because this one looks brighter, right, than this one. That's how I feel anyway. Guess that's better. I think that's all I want to do. I mean, it's nothing revolutionary. I just wanted to play with this palette some more, so... And I wanted to use some colors that I wouldn't normally use. So it's, it kind of turned out like a very chocolatey, smoky eye, I guess. <laughs> but that's okay. I think I want to put, like, a colorful eyeliner in my waterline though. Let me see what I have. Well, the only colorful liner that I have is blue, <laughs> so that's not gonna work with this look, but I found this Marc Jacobs pencil in the shade, I think it's Rococo. Yeah, Rococo. When I opened it, the whole thing fell out, so I managed to get it back in. And I'm hoping I can save it. <laughs> um, it's kind of like... Oh, it's still really creamy. It's like a... Well, it's a bronze. But it'll do. I just feel like my lower lash line needs some more darkness. So I'm going to put this on off camera. Hey guys, so I actually ended up doing the rest of my face, well, highlighter and blush and bronzer and stuff. I still have to do my lipstick, but I just wanted to show you maybe this lighting is better because it was looking really like just dark brown, but if you can tell, it's a lot more purple, at least in person. Um, yeah, I actually like how this turned out. It's like a smoky, metallic, purpley eye. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put my lips on. I'm putting this light down because it's really heavy. I'll put my lipstick on. I'm gonna use, um, this here. It's the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne collab in the shade Bun Bun. It's a comfort matte formula. Looks like this. So it looks like that. I wanted like a, a brown shade to go with this eye. And I'm just going to apply some Fix Plus to my whole face. Um, I'll leave all the other products I used down below, but I wanted to make this video more about the palette. So to give you some final thoughts, I guess. So I think like, I can kind of see why people don't talk about the chocolate bar palette as much anymore. First of all, it's because there's like a new palette every day it seems now. And there's a lot of like more different formulas um, lately and more like higher end palettes are becoming more popular like Pat McGrath palettes, Natasha Denona so people are starting to really know like okay what's a high end eyeshadow supposed to perform like so I think that's probably why this kind of fell out of the loop I guess you would say but I well I know I really like these shades here so like all the neutral shades, I would get a lot of use out of those. Those are like my go-to kind of shades. And I think today, like to be fair, I did use some of the more challenging shades in the palette. So like the purples and 
the shimmer the shimmery matte shades so yeah they're probably not the best out of this palette but I will say my favorite shade was probably this champagne truffle that was like such a good inner corner highlighting shade and I really like the transition shades that I used milk chocolate oh my god I was calling this shadow hazelnut the whole time it's actually called salted caramel which makes more sense because it's a caramel shade oh dear well there you go yeah I did not really like this shade cherry cordial it well I think you guys saw um, when I tried to put it on my lid it was not so pigmented um, but it did provide a good base for the other shade amaretto which I put on after which I did like but I do like the overall look it's like like I said I guess a more smokier look um, than I wouldn't normally do, but I like it. I don't know if you can see better like this. But if you guys have this palette, let me know what are your thoughts. Is it one of your favorite palettes? Which colors do you use the most? I am happy that I have it, and like I said, I would normally use more these this side of the palette here. But I'm glad I got to try some different colors today than I normally would. So I guess that's it for today. Let me know if there's another palette that you think would be good for a throwback Thursday. So what kind of palette do you think used to be super hyped up and now no one talks about it anymore? If I have it, I would do video on it if you'd like um, to test it out kind of like I did with this one to test the shades that I wouldn't normally use to see if it performs well, if it stands the test of time, I guess. Um, yeah, I think that would be fun. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!